Praise God, man. We can come out. We can come out to worship our Lord. Praise God. We. I, I believe we had a good night's sleep. Praise God, and um, God has woke as uh, waking up this morning. Praise God, and we are here. Praise God. Some of us are not feeling too well this morning, praise God, and that is why they are not really here, praise God. But we who are here, we can, you know, we come with one with one cause, for one cause. We come with one thing in mind, praise God, and that is to lift up the name of Jesus. Praise God, this day, praise God, there are so many, so many people, praise God, who are more than this morning, praise God, and I include myself in that, praise God. But thanks be to God, praise his wonderful name. I have life, we here have life, praise God, and we can look to the Father above to sustain us in everything, praise God, that is taking place, praise God, on this on the face of this earth today. Praise God. The word of God said we should feast upon him. Praise God. Praise the Lord. We should feast upon the word of God. Praise his wonderful name because that is the bread of life. Praise God. When we feast upon the word of God, we will never be thirsty. Praise God. There is food in the word of God. As a matter of fact, the word of God is the food for the children of God. And praise God. And so this morning, regardless of mourning, regardless of of sickness, regardless of how you might feel, regardless of the circumstances, praise God, around you, circumstances that you face, praise God, you should look to the Lord. The word of God says he is the author and the finisher of our faith. Praise God. I just want to say to the people online, Praise God. Thanks for coming out. Thank you, Bishop, for coming out this morning. Praise God. I'm going to ask you to do the consecration prayer. Praise God. So we put our hands together. We put our hands together. Praise God. We open our mouth this morning. And when we say hallelujah, we say praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise his wonderful name. We should enter into his gates. Praise God. With thanksgiving in our heart. Praise his wonderful name. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Come on, church of God. Open your mouth and praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Would you like to see the cheers get up and start praising the Lord? Praise God. So we have, come on, man. We have life. We have strength. We have a voice. Let us praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Bless his wonderful name. Praise God. Sweet anointing pouring out the oil and wine like a mighty rushing wind. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet, sweet anointing, pouring out the oil and wine all over me. Oh, oh sweet, oh, sweet. And anointing, pouring out the oil and wine all over me. Oh, sweet, yes, sweet, and anointing. Hallelujah. Pouring out 
Praise God in consecration this morning, this afternoon. Praise his name. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. saints, let us look forward with our hearts fixed upon asking the Lord Jesus Christ to look into our needs and receive our petition before him. Dear God and our Heavenly Father, how much we thank you for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the maker of heaven and earth. He came justified, filled, O oh God, and honored to declare your majesty, your glory, and your kingdom. We thank you for the words we have shared together in study this morning. As you reminded us, God, through Jesus Christ, that Jesus is the bread of life, and without him, we will never be able to get that eternal life, excepting by eating the bread, which have the power to give eternal life. God, we thank you for reminding us so that, Lord, we can know that there are many others who have not yet heard of you, have not yet received this living word. But we beg of you, God, as we come to be examples for them and to be, uh, God, uh, setting the tone, God, whereby they can come to hear your word and to acknowledge you. And also that you can give to all mankind who would endeavor to receive you the privilege to develop in their hearts the bread of life so that when you come, Oh God, you will receive us unto yourself and take us into that eternal realm where we all are hoping to be. Therefore, God, do bless your church. Do bless your people. Do bless every listener, oh God, and Zoom. Bless every listener in the house this morning. Bless everyone who may be a passerby. Oh God, are just listening for the first time. I beg of you, Heavenly Father, reveal your great self, that men have eaten a lot of bread, evening from the wilderness time and prior to then, and are dead. And if they had not known you as the bread of life, amen, so that you could offer to them eternal life, then when the trumpet shall be sounded and the dead in Christ shall be raised, oh God, amen, then there will not be risen up into that eternal realm where they will be possessors of eternal life. But thank you, great God, for those to whom you have handed this. And not just we could have just violently passed it by, but almighty God, we chose to stop by and pay attention to your voice. We chose God to listen to you and to study your word so that it can become more impacting to us, God, that if we only receive you, then we are sure that we will have you when we go through the veil to be landed into eternal life. For you say, God, you will raise us up. The effort will be done by us, God. All that we have to do is to live for you. For you're planning, God, to come and to raise us up. For we cannot raise up ourselves, but you will raise us up because we believe in you and we are one in you. And just as you have been raised from the dead, so also we will be raised into eternal life. I believe you, God. I believe you, Jesus. I believe you, Holy Spirit. And I know you are doing a work of faith in this time and age. We ask you another time to pass by. Many are in doubt and in confusion. Many are not really in full conviction of the true bread. Oh, Lord, we are asking you, God, to continue to reveal your great self to us. And as we continue to think about you, God, I beg that him, the Holy Spirit, Spirit God, will amplify within our soul the meaning of your word, the, the truth of your word, and also, God, the fullness thereof. Remember, oh God, the world in which we are living in. Oh God, a confused age of time. Oh God, there are war front on every side of the fence. 
Oh God, but we believe in the bread of life. We believe that you are a restorer. For Moses asked that the bread be sent down in the wilderness. Ah, God had promised it, but men ate and became still rebellious. Oh God, I beg of you that as we eat, having seen that the bread of this life is only a sustainer for a time and for a season. But oh God, your word declared to us this morning that if we eat of this bread, we will never hunger. Not that we're not going to have the need thereof, God, for the earthly bread, but oh God, we will not hurt hunger for eternal life because it is already embedded in our spirit and in our faith in Jesus Christ. So we are holding on to the blood of Jesus Christ. We are holding on to what you have promised to us as our bread of life. I beg of you, God, as many will pass through the assembly from day to day, and many will hear on Zoom, oh God, a word of comfort that we share. I beg not just that we will hear it, and they will hear it, God, but we beg of you, God, we will apply it to our hearts. Because I could see in the lesson this morning you were trying to tell us to apply this to our being, apply it to our heart, not just to be hearers of the word, but to be doers thereof, for you are the bread of life, and we must anchor our soul in the rock of ages. Oh God, therefore we come to anchor our faith in the blood of Jesus Christ, who is our refuge and our strength, and our present help in time of trouble. Shape us for what we are going to be praising you about today, God. Shape up our mind to know that, thank God, we have the bread of life. He's alive in our soul, and he's alive and well in our mind and our spirit. And we are longing for others to come to know him. Reveal your great self, not just to us, we beg of you, Lord, but pass by. Let the cloud pass over some other folks today to come to know you, God. Ah, for to know you is to have power and faith in you that you will raise us up on the last day. Bless our pastors, bless our evangelists, bless our ministers, bless our deacons, bless all those who are holding the fort in Zion today, God. And bless the church, bless all those who visit, and bless those who share. And I beg of you, Lord, let your anointing fall today in more no uncertain terms. But come to bless us, God, as we reach out to you by faith and tell you thanks for ordaining us into eternal life through believing in the bread of life, the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Bless us, we pray to you, God. Remember those who are sick and those who are fighting against opposition and trial and disaster. I beg you to strengthen our faith. Give us encouragement, oh God. And although we don't see you walking on the water for a long time, but we beg of you, God, walk to our direction. Come about and aboard our boat, God, and take us safely into victory. These mercies we ask at this hour and kill you. Thanks, Heavenly Father. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise his wonderful name. Bless his holy name. Praise God. You're going to help me sing. Praise God. You're going to help me to stamp the feet that we have. You're going to clap our hands. Praise God Almighty. Some of us, maybe, we don't know the words of the song, but there is something we can do. Praise his wonderful name. And we are going to give God what we brought for him today. Praise his name. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. I learned one thing. Praise God. That when you praise God, praise God Almighty, your troubles fly. They flew only. They fly only. Praise God. Praise his name. Praise God. Bless his wonderful name. Oh, what a love. My God has given me. It is a love with an endless guarantee. What could have I done for God to send His Son? 
after that you have suffered a while, make you perfect, stable, strengthen, settle you. To him be the glory and dominion forever. Amen. 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 There ended a portion of the reading. We honor it by saying glory, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Son, as it was in the power of shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today we will be singing from our Melody of Praise, hymn 169. Pass me on. Hymn 169. After we sing the, first, the fourth of verse, I'll ask Pastor Brian to take us to the throne of grace. Ask me not, O gentle Savior, hear my heart to
Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. My soul shall boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear and be glad. For oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Oh, yeah. The eyes of the Lord are open the righteous. And his ears are open to all cry. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivered them out of them all. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Those who he has redeemed from the hands of the enemy, brought them from the north, from the south, from the east, and from the west. Hallelujah. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, we your people give you praise. We your people give you worship. We honor you today from the depths of our hearts. We are rejoicing in the God of our salvation. You are a merciful God. You are a forgiving God. And so we enter in your gates with thanksgiving. And in your courts with praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We stand in the midst of your presence. And we say, Abba, Father, you are welcome in this place. We are your people and the sheep of your pastor. And we give you worship in the house of praise, Lord. Father, we come today to celebrate life. You are the giver of life. You are the God of our salvation. You are the source of our strength. We are so privileged. We are so blessed. We call on the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, as we come today to worship, we come to hear you speak to us through your word. Father, we pray your blessing upon this service. Those who are joining us online, Lord, remember them today. Father, as we come corporate to worship you, God, we ask you that you cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Bless every aspect of this service. As you are welcome among us, have your way today. Have your way today, have your way, have your way today. Open our hearts and our minds and our ears to hear what the Spirit has said to the churches. As we give you all the glory today, and we lift up the name of Jesus. Thanking you, God, for what you have done for us on the cross. You are a covenant keeping God. You are a promise keeping God. And so, Lord, we come to celebrate you. And so, Lord, we thank you. And God, we say we love you. We are the redeemer. We give you praise today. Have your way in our midst today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Samantha. What did we just sing the refrain of that song? Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry. Why and others die are calling to not pass me by. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we 
Good afternoon to the household of faith. Praise God. I stand before you today. It's on. Praise God. Praise God. A pleasant good afternoon to the household of faith. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus, our soon coming King. Praise God. I stand before you today to give the notices, the announcements. Praise God. I will begin with the order of our services. Praise God. So the school begins promptly at 11 a.m. and ends at 12 p.m. Praise God. Our midday worship starts immediately thereby at 12 p.m. or noon. Praise God. Bible study begins at 8 p.m. on Wednesday nights. Praise God. 8 p.m. Bible study. 8 to 9 p.m. Praise God. Of course, things are subject to change. So praise God. Praise God. So sometimes we go beyond when, praise God, this, the Lord takes over, take matters out of our hands. Praise God. Our prayer meeting begins at 8 p.m., 8 to 9 p.m. in the sanctuary here at Faith Temple Church of God. Praise God. Those are the schedule. This that is our schedule, praise God, for our services. Praise God. But I left out something and something very important because on Mondays we fast and pray. Fasting and prayer, the engine of the ministry, the engine of the church. Praise the name of Jesus. So on Mondays, praise God, you may not be here in the sanctuary. Whatever, wherever you are, please be reminded that we have fasting and prayer. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. We have an upcoming meeting for which our pastor Spence will tell you more about. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. Now, our mailing address for, or let me say, our location of worship is at 166-06 Natal Place in Jamaica, New York, 11433. However, our mailing, the church's mailing address is P.O. Box 120-435, St. Albans, New York, 11412. Our cash app is Faith Temple. Ch dot of God at gmail.com. Again, Faith Temple Ch dot of God at gmail.com. Praise God. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Praise God. And now we have one, as I go to our apologies, we have one apology for today. And that is our dear sister June Johnson. Praise God. Praise God. Who's the other one? Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Our Sister June Johnson and our sister, Sister Osborne. Sister Osborne is not feeling very well, so we have to hold her up in prayer today. Bless God. Praise the name of Jesus. We have, you know, I must confess, from the beginning of the year, I spoke to our dear Pastor Taylor over there in Texas. He sent numerous messages that he was not hearing one voice from this church. And that voice was mine. So I made it my point of duty to call him. Praise God. And we spoke. I settled the matter. 
And so he said, greetings for the church. Today is the seventh day of January. So please forgive me. He sent us New Year greetings. And he's hoping, 17th of January, yes. And he's hoping that he will see us soon. He's longing to come here. So let us pray for our Pastor Taylor, Elder Taylor. Let us hold him up in prayer. He and his wife are doing okay. But you can tell him the message was delayed. The greeting was delayed. But nevertheless, it was delivered. God bless you, brethren. Whatever is next or there, if there is anything else, our pastor Spence or our moderator, Evangelist Brian, will bring you up to date. God bless you, brethren. Let us all put our hands together as we clap our hands unto the Lord. God bless you. God bless you.
stand before you this afternoon to give the welcome address. Praise the Lord. First of all, let me welcome the Holy Spirit. He's already in with us. We could feel him moving within us, around us, and right through and through the building, and even through our veins, dear Father. Praise God. Next, I want to welcome online, our online um, viewers, Bishop Folks. Praise God. Please feel welcome and minister to folks. Praise God. Sister Osborne, whom um, we just heard, is not feeling well, but she's online. She's listening God. to with us. Oh, praise God. So please be welcome right there. Praise God. I was Sister Anderson. Denise Anderson. Praise God. God. Sister Pauline. God. Sister Pinky. Sister Nareen. Sister Sutherland. Praise God. Um, Sister Tamika. Praise God. God. Please be welcome. Praise God. And Mr. Duan Singh. Noel, Noel Duan Singh. Please be welcome. Praise God. That is the husband of my sister sitting down there, Diane Bird. Praise God. Please be welcome also, my dear. Praise God. Also online, we have Mona Maxwell. Praise God. Please feel welcome. Um, Montez, please feel welcome. And if there's anybody else I have missed while I was at my seat, praise God. If you have joined me lately, please feel welcome. Praise God. And just feel free to worship the Holy Ghost in the beauty of, in the beauty, um, of his holiness. Praise God. If I should come back in the house, praise God. Oh, Pastor Spence, please feel welcome, sir. Praise God. And Evangelist Spence, please feel welcome. Oh, Pastor Brian, please feel welcome. Evangelist Brian, please feel welcome. Praise God. Our musicians, please feel welcome. Mr. Bird, please feel welcome. Praise God. Sister Brenda. Please feel welcome. Sister Samantha, praise God. And last but certainly not least, praise God. There are two ladies that are joining today. And honestly, I don't remember your name. I know you, Pastor Brown. Praise God. Please feel welcome. Praise God. And the sister that came along with you, Sister Sharon, please feel welcome. Cheryl. So, praise God. Thanks for joining us today. Praise God. And we are here. Anytime you need somewhere to come and worship, you're free to come along and join us here at Faith Temple. Praise God. And with this, I hand over back to the moderator in care of the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Thank you, dear Paul. And my time has come to an end. For this part of the service, I thank you so much for joining in this afternoon. So I now take the great pleasure of turning this over to our host pastor, Pastor Spence. Come on, church, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Praise God. Thank God, you are to be a fantastic church. Praise the good name. Bless the holy name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Bless his name. Praise God. Um, I'm going to welcome Peter and Oyo, the brother of the Lord, the musician. Oh, you said? Okay, but I'm going to give him a second welcome. That's how much they are needed here. Right, Mr. Coy? Right, and Brother Joy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise God. We bless God for you. Praise God. Pastor Lord, it's nice seeing you again. And you know I'm going to call you up a little further, right? But you're okay? She said she's okay. Praise God. I want to thank our minister for leading us into... For, well, she's an old-timer. Yes. The Sunday school 
teacher. She was really the superintendent of the Sunday school. But because Mother Maxwell is not here, praise God. She's playing a double role, right, Minister? <laughs> but I want to say welcome to those online. Mr. Brother and Sister Anderson from all the way in Maryland. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. And our sister. Praise God. No. Sister Sharon. Praise God. While you were out with us, Sister Sharon came and she accepted Christ. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Come on, church of God. Let's praise God. That's a soul that can stay on the earth. Praise God. Praise God. Praise his name. Praise God. And Pastor Brown, I hope the young man has come to church over in um, Arizona, right? He's from Arizona. Praise God. I hope you keep in touch with him and keep him in line with God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. And he's not here today. Praise God. But we're going to pray for her today. Praise God. Um, church of God, before the speaker comes, um, we would like to go officially online. You know, you see the things we're using and Peter is making real good. It's real good effort in using these small objects to allow people at far distance to tune into our service. And so we Peter and myself, we you know we are searching to searching out. We got some information as to the things that we need to put in the church. We can stream officially, uh, professionally. You would say even right the professional way, and you know those things are at the cost. And so later on, further down, I'm going to come back to you. You know, give you some more information so that we can go ahead and purchase these things so that we can put them up in the house. Because we have a vision. We have a vision. And the vision, a part of the vision, praise God, is what the Lord told us to do. That we should go into the highways and the byways. And we should preach the gospel. Now, because of COVID, we are locked up. And we cannot go. But we know where people are. They are online. They are viewing the things. So we have to get to them. That's one of the ways in which we can get to them. Praise God. By streaming. Putting it in front of the eyes. And so these things are at the cost. And I'm going to you know, ask the church, praise God, to help with this. Praise God. And those that are online. Praise God. Bless the Lord. If you feel good about it, then put your hands together. Man. Come on. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Our intention, our intention is to bring the gospel, praise God, to the lost and to the dying, for the needy, for the thirsty, for the hungry. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. And so, that is where we are at this moment. You heard about the meeting? It's going to be scheduled for the, I think, the last Friday of this, this month. Praise God. But you will hear more. Praise God. Bless the name of Jesus. Can you, I'm thinking, is there any other thing? Can you stand with me? Praise his name. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, wonderful, good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good. I feel good, good, good. 
and we know you what to expect. But wherever we are, God is with us. So we give him the glory. Please turn your Bibles with me to Luke, not Luke, but John chapter 4. Praise God and make sure. John chapter 4. We're going to talk a little today. Praise God. And we will read and we will stop at the appointed verse. Bless God. Praise God. John chapter 4. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, though Jesus himself baptized not, but his disciples, he left Judea and departed again into Galilee, and he must need, needs go to Samaria. Then comes he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar near the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Praise God. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus therefore, being weary with his journey, sat thus on the well. And it was about the sixth hour. Praise God. There comes a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away into the city to buy meat. Verse 9. Then said Jesus, then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that you, being a Jew, ask a drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? How is it that you? Jesus answered, Praise God. Let's read that again. How is it that you, being a Jew, ask a drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If you know the gift of God, and who it, who it is who says to you, Give me to drink, you would have asked of him, and he would have given you living water. That's the name of Jesus. The woman said unto him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Praise the name of Jesus. From where do you get this living water? Are you greater than our father, Jacob, which give us the well and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinks of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinks of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Praise the name of Jesus. You may be seated. Bless God forever. Hmm. This morning, this morning, praise God. Our minister spoke about, Minister Bird spoke about the woman of the well, in short. And in a way, we touched on several aspects of the message. Praise God. Amen. And so, we have a way of knowing when the Lord is speaking to us. So let us avail ourselves. Let us open our ears. Let us listen. Because sometimes, as children of God, we tend to talk more than we listen. And listening is extremely important and crucial. Praise God. So let us listen to what the Lord has to say to us. You know? Praise God. As usual, when I am given an assignment like this, praise God, you know, I know that of myself, I can do nothing. And oftentimes, I don't know where to start. But that tells me, see the face of God. We're going to speak to his people. Listen to what he has to say 
what he wants to say to his people. Praise God. I promise I will not stand before you long today. The time is 10 minutes past two. Praise God. I am going to deliver what the Lord has given to me. Praise God. Praise God. You know, when we look at the story, we know the story very well. It is a well-known story. And we have read it umpteen times. Praise God. We know about it inside out. But you know what? Let's hear what the Lord has to say. You know, we know that Jesus left Judea. Praise God. And he departed to Galilee. And this is John's account. Praise God. But we know that Jesus walked or he traveled through Samaria. And when I did my research, I realized that there are several ways, several other ways to get to Galilee. Praise God, we were going through Samaria. Although Samaria, going through Samaria was a short path. Praise God. Going through Samaria, Jesus met a woman, a nameless woman. He met a Samaritan. He met an extraordinary woman. He met a woman who we, we, we would call low down. A woman who, who, who we would call of no class. Praise God. But Jesus was alone. He was alone. You know? And there was a reason. You know, we don't know the master's business. We seek, but we can't know it all. Praise God, unless it's what he permits us to know. You know, Jesus met this woman, praise God, and he had a conversation with the woman. Jesus was kind of weary from his traveling, praise God, because a human, praise God, we know that, and we can understand that very well, praise God. And so Jesus was resting, because he became weary. He was suffering from the physical limitations of his humanity. So he was resting on the well. And we're not going to get into the meat of the matter about Jacob's well today. We're going to go straight to the meat of the matter. We're talking about the woman. Praise God. And so, they say, well, the sixth of hour, and in the Jewish time, we know that that is 12 o'clock, 12 noon, praise God. We can look at it otherwise to be outside of that, to be 6 o'clock, praise God. But whatever time it was, we know that Jesus met the, a woman, a woman, and he had a conversation with a woman, praise God. Praise him, you know, and... Um, Where was Jesus resting? He was resting on the very well that the woman needed to draw from. So she could not have escaped him or he could not miss her. Praise God. And this nameless woman, this Samaritan, this outcast, this woman who was looked down on in the community, this woman who was being talked about constantly, this woman, praise God, who the Jews despised, praise God. This woman whom the Jews denounced for not knowing their God. This woman who was considered immoral. This woman, praise God, who was considered to have no value. The Lord reached down, reached out to her. He reached out to her. You know what? Because the love of God knows no boundaries. Amen. Did you hear that? I said, the love of God, Pastor Spence, knows no boundaries. We may turn up our nose on somebody. We may think all sorts of things about them. We may judge them, praise God, but we are not God. God sees the inward part and he knows exactly what is going on. Praise God. You know, so Jesus conversed with the woman, right? She might not have understood all that Jesus said, 
or what Jesus was about. But you know what? Jesus fulfilled just what he was there to fulfill. Praise God. She did not understand the spiritual aspect. Praise God. But you know what? She was there to draw water physically. And she was introduced to water, still water, but a spiritual water. So praise God, you know, and I'm going to go straight to the text. Praise God. The woman said unto Jesus in verse 15, sir, okay, let's go back to verse 14. But whosoever drinks of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. This morning we spoke about the bread of life. We are talking about the bread of life. We're talking about the living water. We're talking about the Holy Lamb of God. Praise the name of Jesus. So the woman said unto him, give me this water that I thirst not, neither hither come hither to draw. Jesus said unto her, go. Call your husband and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, You have well said, I have no husband, for you have five husbands. And praise God. And he whom you now have is not your husband. In that you truly said. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. So right then and there, Jesus knew, the woman knew that he was no ordinary person. Right then and there, the woman knew something that she didn't know before. Right then and there, the woman knew that there is hope. Right then and there, the woman was waiting to see how this would play out. Praise God. But you know what? She spoke the truth. And brethren, it is the same thing with us. We have to speak the truth. Speak the truth. You know? I know this little gem. It says, speak the truth. Speak it ever. Cost it what it will. For he who hides the wrong he did does the wrong thing still. You will be wrong and wrong and double wrong. And God sees the inward part. He knows what is in our hearts. So we cannot hide from him. Praise God. We cannot hide from him. Well, you know what? Huh. Jesus knew that this woman had a need. Just as how Jesus knew that we had a need. And he knew it knows today that we still have needs. And we need this Jesus. We need the living water. We need the bread of life. Praise the name of Jesus. So Jesus used this woman's need for this is her need for physical water to, su to sustain her life. Because we can't live without water, brethren. We need it for our sustenance. We need water. We need water. It's one of the basic needs for humans. And so Jesus used, praise God, the woman, the water that the woman needs physically to serve an object lesson. But what was this lesson? What is it? Praise the name of Jesus. He knew that she needed a spiritual transformation. Praise God. He knew she needed a spiritual transformation. Jesus knew then, before we came to where we are now, that we needed a spiritual transformation. And sometimes we are here, we are on the battlefield, but we need a spiritual transformation yes. because sometimes we run dry, the water has dried up, yes. and we forget about the bread of life the living water, the holy love of God. We lose sight. Praise God. So, you know, the Holy Spirit is where we should, fo why we should focus on. Not the physical things of the world. Not the physical things. The Holy Spirit 
in whom there is life, there is hope, there is peace, there is joy. And the hope is that when we leave this life, we will have it spend eternal life with him. Praise God. I don't debate with anybody where heaven is because I know wherever my Jesus is, that's where is that is that is heaven to me. Wherever Jesus is, that's heaven. Because these days there is there are so many things for you to hear. But some things are not worth debating. Because when you read the Holy Bible, which is our guide, there's no need to debate and make a fool of ourselves. Amen. We just hold on to Jesus and we focus on him. Praise God. When I came to Sunday school this morning, praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God, we heard about the heavenly principles. Praise God Almighty. Praise God. I listened to a preacher some time ago. And he said when somebody got saying, he was talking about the church of God. And I love to talk about the New Testament church of God because that's the, that's the ministry that set me straight. Oh, yes. Amen. And I cannot leave. I cannot forget. When someone is saved and they enter the church, you're given a lecture. You're given lessons. To teach you how to conduct yourself, how to behave, how to walk, how to talk. But let's get back to this woman. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise God. We're talking about the living water. Praise God. This is the gift of the Spirit. Praise God. That today dwells within us who are believers. And we can go to Acts 10 and read from verse 44 to 45. So you know what? I told you I'm not going to leave it for you long. But I want you, um, I want to invite you today to come see a man. A man. The man Jesus Christ. The man. Come see a man. The woman ran. Come see a man who told me all the things I ever did. Come she bid them to come, even those who scorned her. She went to hurt them, and she said, come, come. They wanted to see first and, and to hear, so they went. Praise God. You know? And so, us as believers, we have work to do. You know? We have been redeemed. We have been redeemed. And from a heart that's been redeemed, redeemed by God, Redeemed from sin, but of the living water, we should have the well within us springing up so that we would not thirst. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, this ministry should have the Holy Spirit flowing out of us. Praise God, so we can bless our believers. Our business, our duty is to bless, not to curse. Jesus blessed the woman. So our duty is to let the Holy Spirit, the spring of living water, flow out of us to bless others so that the world can see the light, praise God, and see the world can be drawn into the light. Praise God. Our life must be the light. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. If this is otherwise today, then we know that we need a spiritual transformation. Because I said sometimes the engine gets dry, rusty, corrosion is inside there, all sorts of things. Praise God, just like when the cistern is broken, it cannot flow as the free flow of water. You will have drip, 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 until it breaks out and you have flooding. Praise God. So let us not. Behave as if we don't need a transformation. We need to come see a man, a man who told and tell us all things that we did and that we are doing and that we need to know. You know, but if we can look closely at this woman, she went to the well as customary. 
there would be people conversing. She never had anybody to converse with. No, she was a loner. And maybe she went at that time, just maybe, because of her, what you call it now, her lifestyle. Yes. You know, you have it right, Minister, her character. In Jamaica, they would say you have no character. You have character, but it's bad. It needs cleaning up. Praise God. That's but you know what? Wherever we are, God sees and he knows. So we might as well be truthful. Bless the name of Jesus. But you know what? When Jesus conversed with her, she asked, you know, he kind of go around some of her questions. Right? He told her that if she knew who he was, yes, she sir. would allow him, praise God, to give her water. Oh, yes. She would ask of him and he would have given her living water. That's all right. But the woman said, the one must think that this man is crazy. Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Yes. The well is very deep. Brethren and friends, in the church house, online, I said the well is deep. Mm -hmm. The well is very deep. Praise God. She said, from where do you get living water? Mm -hmm. But Peter, she didn't know that there was so much, so much for her to know. But you know what struck me? You know what struck me? The woman, praise God. When she found out who Jesus was, yes. praise God, and she found that Jesus didn't turn up his nose on her. Jesus met her and he spoke with her when the, when the, the, the disciples went to see the physical food because he was about much more than that. We spoke about the food this morning, how the some people were following for the fish and bread, but they were still there. That's all right. But they, they needed the, the spiritual meat to sustain them so that they will never hungry, never get hungry. No more hunger will come and they will never thirst. That's all right. Praise God. So, because no matter how much we indulge in the earthly things, in the physical things of this world, no matter how much we indulge, we must we are bound to get hungry and thirsty. We cannot satisfy our needs. That's all right. So I invite each and every one today to come see a man. Come see a man. Come see a man. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Are we spiritually thirsty today? Yeah. We cannot be strong. We can obtain water. We can obtain bread. We yeah. can obtain food, mm -hmm. spiritual food, because without that, we can't live. It makes no sense. Praise God. When the devil tempted Jesus, he told him, man cannot live by bread alone, That's right. but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Yeah. Bless God forevermore. Praise God. So we are all we today. Praise God. Mm -hmm. We should be able to tell others, come, come and see a man. Let me take you over to Faith Temple. Let me take you over to the crossroads. Let me take you over there, over yonder, to see the man who told me all the things that I ever did. Come see for yourself. Yes. Come and hear. That's all right. We are now, uh, how much you know, we think we are better than the woman at the well? Okay. You know, sometimes we think we are so better than people. Sometimes mm -hmm. we say, yes, the woman is a sinner. What do we sin? All right. Do we sin and go yes. short of the glory of God? God? Do we sin? Do we sin? Do we break? The covenant with God. Mm. So many times we judge others. We sidestep others. We do all manner of things. Yes. Praise God. But we 
think the Lord is not seen. Mm. But today, I invite each and every one of us, including myself, come. Come see a man who can straighten us up. Yeah. Who can give us the living water. Who can set us on path to glory. Come, come and see a man. Praise God. Oftentimes we say we are going home. We are going home on the morning train. But mm. sometimes when the Lord should come, put in his appearance. When we say we are going home, then we are going nowhere. We will hear the part from me. I know you not. Yeah. But may the Lord have mercy upon our souls. Mercy, Lord. May we humble ourselves at his feet. May we seek, praise God, to show others the light. You know, I was on my job this week, and we had a newcomer. And she was following me around on day one. And she said, I want to see what you do. She said, how long are you here? I don't know if she followed me around. The following day, she popped up on me again. She said, are you a child of God? I clean my throat. I said, my life is supposed to tell you whether I am a child of God. My life is supposed to tell you. She said, I see it. I see it. But I want a confirmation. Yes, I want to hear it from your lips. So children of God, let us be careful what we do. How we live. Our lives must be a light. Yes. Instead of scoring people, let's reach out to them. Let's stretch forth a hand and tell them Jesus says, says, let's stretch forth. Let's reach down. Praise God. You know, this morning, sometimes you don't say anything, but you listen. The argument was that some people, they will ask you, pray for me. But I don't want to accept Christ. Mm -hmm. But they said, pray for me. Yes. Pray for me. And our duty is to pray. Many, many. Our duty is to pray. Yes. Tell them about Jesus. Don't mm -hmm. fight them. Pray for them. Whatever condition they may be in, look beyond the condition. But tell them that there is Jesus Christ of Nazareth yes. who can supply your every need. Who can make your crooked path straight? They in turn will go and tell their friends. But some people, they want the easy way. Yes. But in this pilgrim's journey, there is no easy way. Let's oh, start forevermore. You know, oftentimes we say we are pilgrims and strangers. Mm -hmm. I was kind of singing this in a song, and I wasn't getting it so good. But brother, now when I'm not getting it, I am singing. I am still singing. Nothing is not going to hinder me from singing to my Lord. If you don't want to hear it, then run away. Because I am going to sing. I'm singing to my God. Amen. Oh, yeah. I believe the song goes like this. I'm but a stranger here. I'm going home. I'm going home. Someday I'll take my flight. For home, sweet home, and with a ransom song, I'll sing redemption songs. I'm going home, but a stranger here.
kneel down. The joints are stiff. The bones are so stiff. It's like you're starched. Hmm. But guess what? It's the plan of the old dragon. And it's time to it's you know that there, there is a man. man. Yeah. There is a water. Yeah. There is a yeah. bread of Christ. Yeah. Where whatever state you find yourself in. All of them. Yes. Because, because love, love knows our boundaries. My sister Diane, the love of God knows our boundaries. Is God all by himself? He cares. He is loving. He is kind. And that's why sometimes we test him. But we don't want his patience to run out on us. So we're not going to be presumptuous. We're just going to trust him. Whatever situation you find yourself in, trust him. Oh no! We must be responsible people. We must be honest people. Oh no! We must own our sins. They are ours. But if we don't acknowledge our sins, how are we going to get forgiveness? That's right. It doesn't make sense we play and dance around our sins. Don't dance around them. Acknowledge them. Praise God. Acknowledge our sins, our waywardness, our stubbornness. Yes. All the sins that we dress up. Oh, yeah. All the sins that we disguise. Let us own them, acknowledge them, and in an honest way, go to our master, confess them. Confess them. Praise God. Let us ask for his forgiveness. Let us repent. You see what is going on in the world? Yeah. Jesus of mercy. Mm. The church mm. is more relevant in this time more than any other time. The church of the living God. Yes. The church, the church, the church. Yes. Is relevant, more relevant in this time than we can ever think of. Because do you see what is happening? Not only where we live, but in the world at large. Mm. People need Jesus. Yes. So we have to invite them. Come. Come mm. see a man. Hallelujah. I've seen a man who took me from my lowest state. Mm. Once upon a time, I was not like this. Yeah. Right. I didn't know wrong from right. I never used to speak the truth. I yeah. used to be very home. But I was invited to come see this man. And I have tasted of the living water. I have the bread of life. I have the spring of living water springing up in me. It's God. Jesus. Mm. To make my life be a light in this dark world. Yes. The ministry of the Holy Spirit is flowing out of me. Praise God. So that others can see. Mm. And they will be drawn to taste of the living water. Don't mind the things of the world. Mm. They are just for a time. They can do us no good. They will do us more bad. So let us drop them off. And church, the, the children of God who think they need to be modern and more modern and more modern. And so we follow it and take up the things of the world and we will fall outside the gate. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Sometimes we try to pattern the world. We have come away from that. We have the living water springing yeah. up inside of us. We yeah. have the well, the Holy Spirit who is our guide. Praise God. Mm. And so we have to depend on Jesus. Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. woman left her water pot and she ran. Who are we running to tell about Jesus? Mm. Thank you, man. Praise are we just keeping it for ourselves? Are we saying that that individual is too light? We cannot talk to that person. Or they are too, I don't like their lifestyle, they are out of character, so I can't talk to them. That is where we are, you know. On the highways and the byways, on the edges, and tell somebody about Jesus. 
Amen. He sat on the well and he met this woman of low estate and he brought life for her and light. She would always go for the physical water because she needed it. But she needed eternal life. Oh, yes. She needed saving grace. And so the sure outweighs mm -hmm. the physical water. Bless the name of Jesus. Let us reach out Jesus. to somebody. Right. Sometimes we may be feeling down and the phone rings. Pack up your house and answer the phone. Pack up your house and answer the phone. Somebody needs Jesus. Somebody needs to hear about the living water. Yes. Somebody needs help. <sighs> And when All right, they receive of us, then they can drop the water pipe and run and tell others about the living water. Mm -hmm. Don't answer to drag anybody down. Perk up yourselves. We have Jesus. That's right. Missionary Hemings, we have Jesus. We have Jesus. Praise God. So, brethren, I told you, I was not going to stand before you long, but you got the gist of it. And I stuck to the point, because the point is that you will need, those of us who think we are at the place, we are preserved, we are dressed up, and we are put down. Yeah. Get out of that mindset. We need a spiritual transformation. Yeah. So that we can offer to others. Yeah. We can have something to offer. Mm -hmm. So let us don't think that we are at the place where we don't need Jesus. We need him. Praise God. Right. The Samaritan woman own up before she could embrace Christ. We need to own up. Bless God. How are we feeling today? How are we feeling? Jesus knows about our own. He yes. knows about our up, up, uprising. Oh, he knows about our downfall. No. He knows we're on the mountain top. He no. knows when we're in the valley. He no. knows when we have no money in our pockets. He no. knows when the children are giving us trouble. He yes. knows when they're running. He knows when we are happy. He knows everything. Oh, no. yes. He knows when we are pretending. He knows when we are truthful. He knows when we put on the church face. They can't come to church. He knows! Mm. Jesus knows! Yes, he knows. He knows! Mm. I did. Don't waste time! Yes. There is work to do! The harvest is ripe! Hallelujah! Yes, Jesus! Hallelujah! Yes, Jesus! 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 Y
stranger here. We are not going to be here forever. We are not going to be here preaching and talking and singing forever. The psalmist says the preaching of the gospel will it's soon be over. over. Hallelujah. And just some a while ago, Amen. I'm but a stranger here. I'm but a stranger here. So I'm inviting you to rise on your feet. Stand on your feet, brethren. Stand on your feet and think about it. We are but strangers here. Some sweet day, we are going home. And we are not going home alone because we must be a selfless people. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I'm a stranger here. I'm going home. Someday I'll take my time. Oh, sweet love. I'll sing the end of the song. I know I'm overcome. I'm going home.
Who they come? We come in contact. And like the preacher said, don't quarrel. Just give them the word. Just give it to them. Oh, yes. Can you imagine if Jesus had just passed the woman? How are you doing? And he gone. She would not get to evangelize to enter the district. But she became an evangelist the same day. And she brought so many to come see the man who told her of her needs. We must adapt the same principle. Amen, amen, amen. Tell it to them. Tell it to them. We must get real. Pastor, we must get real. Yes, and we can't do thin skin because they will lash back at us, you know. And when they lash back at us, what are we going to do? We can't lash at them either. We just have to keep it real. Jesus is Lord. And if you don't accept Jesus, there's a place for those who does not accept him. And there is a place for those who accept. The place for those who accept Jesus as, his, as their Lord and personal Savior is a place where they will live forever with him. Praise God. The place for those who do, does not accept the Lord it's a place of torment. That's what the Bible says. It's a place of torment. Praise God. But today, we're going to ask Jesus to keep us near the cross. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There is a precious fountain free to all the healing stream flows on Calvary's mountain. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. Till my rapture, soul shall shine. Rest beyond the river. All of us want rest. Praise God. I have all to pass away. Praise God. And we are, I, I, I can't go, but we are putting together something. Praise God. Pastor, I don't know. And he was asking if she had accepted Jesus. My father's sister. Praise God. But I'm, I'm not getting the answer. So I don't know. I'm still not casting, saying that she is not, or she was not a child of God, because I said I don't know. I'm just not getting the answer from anybody. But we who are here and alive, let us make sure that our anchor holds. Because when the time comes, we want to be sure of that place. Oh, yes. We want to be sure of that place of rest. So today, if you are not here, you feel strong in your body. But you know deep within yourself that you are not where you are supposed to be in Jesus. You are not where you are supposed to be. You are still out there fishing. Will you leave everything and come to Jesus today? Will you ask him to keep you near the cross? Will you tell him that you're giving your life to him today? Will you offer your life to Jesus? Will you come to the cross? Because of the cross, there is life. There is life in abundance in Jesus. If you come to him, you will not miss anything. You will gain. Jesus, keep me.
You died for us so that we can rest in your name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Be blessed in the name of God. Be blessed. Will you empty your soul? Will you empty your heart to the cross? Will you empty it today? And will you make a new start? Will you give Jesus your life? Will you tell him that you're sorry? Will you say to him, Lord, here I am. Take me as I am. Take me as I am. Lord, take me as I am. Lord, take me as I am. My only plea. Hallelujah. Lord, take Behind them. The 
because now they come to you. You give their lives to you, Jesus. Get past this behind them. Let them to know, God, that they will follow you as come today. Lord, have your way in their lives. They surrender. They surrender all to you. surrender to him today. You're willing to give the Lord in your life as for today. You're willing to walk with Jesus as for today. Is that a yes? Is that a yes? Praise the name of Jesus. As soon as the Lord to the Lord. away so he could have this encounter with this lady and so when the disciples came back and they saw Jesus ministering to the crowd they wanted was to interrupt Jesus and said master here is the food that we came back with Jesus said I had some food that you all don't know about Verse 31 and verse 32. Jesus. Everything that you need, my sister and my son, is in Jesus. Let me say this again. When the disciples came back in the text that evangelist preached, Pastor Brown, 
Verse 31 and verse 32, let us know that the disciples have a problem. Because they're trying to give Jesus food because they said, Jesus, I know you must be hungry. And Jesus used 10 words in verse 32 and said, I have food that you don't even know about. Jesus has something, my sister, waiting for you that you know about. Jesus has something that you don't know about. Don't let nobody interrupt that. And so it's not a, so it's not a mistake that you make a confession to accept Jesus in your heart today. The Bible says, with the heart men believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So I pray that based on your confession, that Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God, will keep what you have committed, what you have uttered today, that you will keep that. And no devil in hell can abort the plan and purpose that he has predestined for your life. Can you confess it? Am I right? My sister, you know that you didn't really confess it yet. But Jesus, what you are looking for, what you are hoping for, it's in Jesus. Why do I say that? Because the Bible says that all is in the world is the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, and the pride of life. It's not of the Father, but it's of this world. Am I talking right? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful, awesome privilege that your spoken word have resonated in the heart of these two, your people, children that have came up based on your word that was preached today. I pray for this young man who has uttered a confession that he believed that you paid he sinned that in full at the cross and he desired to follow you. I pray in the name of Jesus that the blood of Jesus will cover him, keep him from the evil forces of this world that will try to abort the plan that you predestined for his life. I plead the blood of Jesus over his life. I plead the blood of Jesus where he lives, when he sleeps in the name of Jesus. I pray that your angels will surround this dwelling house. Keep this house where we live from fire, from burglary, from all those things that we call the nation unto his life. I pray, oh God, that when he, when he steps out, that you will water his steps. Any man being Christ Jesus is a new creature. All things are passed away and be all things are new. Let him be like a beacon in the darkest night. Let him be an example to his friends. I pray a fresh anointing on his life. I pray, oh God, that you'll keep him when he cannot keep him, keep himself in the name of Jesus. The scripture tells young man, I call upon you because you are strong. And I pray in the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, you'll rise upon him in the name of Jesus. Can I put my hand on you, my son? In the name of Jesus. Father, every anointing that you place on my life, oh, that I declare and decree now in the name of Jesus. That you'll give him a double portion of anointing now. That will keep his mind. That you will keep him, oh God, in the very palm of your hand. In the name of Jesus. Comfort him, oh God, when he cannot even comfort himself. Oh God, open doors, oh God, for him. Open opportunities for him, oh God. Bless him with favor in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for his life. May his life will never be the same again. Oh God, I pray that you surround him with good influence. Surround him with good friends in the name of Jesus. And the plan that you predestined for his life may it fulfilled in this moment. Oh, that guide him in his going out and his coming in. And he said in your word in Psalm 121, you will preserve his going out and his coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. We seal him by the blood of Jesus. We seal him with the blood of Jesus. We seal him with the blood of Jesus. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We seal you now in the name of Jesus. Cover him, cover him, cover him under the blood of Jesus. Your blood never loses power. Cover him now and keep him from all of us unseen dangers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my sister. Father, I pray 
in the name of Jesus that shall meet every need in our life. Father, just as you promised Joshua not to look to the left, not to look to the right, you made a covenant with Joshua. You told Joshua if he does not look to the left or to look to the right, but if he keep your covenant, you will make his way prosperous and successful. I pray that my sister will understand that you are a covenant keeping God. And you're not a man that you should lie. Neither are you the son of man that you should repent. Father, I pray, oh God, that her mind, oh God, will stay on your word. I plead the blood of Jesus over her life. I pray for favor. Everything that is impeding her progress, speak to me, Holy Ghost. Everything that is causing distraction in her life, <clears throat> every roadblock in her life seems like a roadblock. Father, help her to look to the hills from whence coming to her help, knowing that all her help coming from you. You are the God who never sleep, and you are the God who never slumber. We ask you that the peace of God will rest upon her now. Father, trouble our spirit. Trouble our spirit, oh God. Trouble our spirit in the name of Jesus, and let her be still and know that you are God. Grant your favor that I pray, and come and favor in this season. In Jesus' awesome name we pray. May the church give God some praise. Come on, church, give him some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise his mercy. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. I'm gonna ask um um Abby. She's not here today. She went back to base. You remember her, right? Pastor Brian? You remember yes, Abby? Yes. yes, she went back to her job. She's on base. Praise God. But I'm going to ask that we pray for her. Praise God. We know that the military is not an easy place. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. And so we just want to put her before the Lord for safekeeping. Put her before the Lord so that on base she does not get an attack from the enemy. Put her before the Lord so that no sickness come upon her. Put her before the Lord so that the, she will remain a child of God. Praise the Lord. She's alone, alone out there. Well, God is with her, but if you know what I mean, she's alone. Mommy's not there, daddy's not there, you know, and she's all by herself, all the way out in Arizona. Praise God. We want to put her before the Lord. Praise God. Um, there's also a request here, and her name is Abby, Abigail. There's also a request here from our sister. Brenda in the back, she wants prayer for her daughter, that is this little girl's mother, Alanis. Praise God. So you're going to pray for Abby and Alanis. Praise God. And Sister Sherry, you're going to be leaving for work? No, you're not going to be leaving. Okay. But remember, she has last week or the week before she just accepted the Lord. Praise God. So we still want to put her before her. Um, minister, praise God. Could you come, Minister? Sister Sherry. Praise God. Oh, it's 
for for the baby. For the mom. Oh, she's dying for a treat. Okay. Can you go? Minister, you're gonna pray for Cheryl. She accepted the Lord the other day when she was here. Pastor Brown, when 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 Pastor Brown come pray for Annie, I want you to come stand in practice for Annie.
and ask you for your strength and ask you for your forgiveness to take us through. We realize, God, that we cannot make this journey by ourselves. But Jesus said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. I will be with you to the end. Help us to realize, God, that you are always there even when things go wrong. You're always there to give us song. You're never gone when she's alone. You're always there. I pray in the name of Jesus that her steps will be ordered by you. Help her, God, give her that desire to want to read your word, that desire to want to live for you, that desire and that determination to want to walk worthy of this vocation where we she's called. I pray in the name of Jesus for a benediction of your blessing upon her today. Father, we are asking you more than all that you would fill her up with the Holy Ghost and fire, that she'll be able to live as victorious and a triumphal life for you, a life that is worthwhile living, a life that you desire. Oh God, we realize, Lord, Oh, that the enemy is like a roaring lion and he's seeking whom he might devour. But Father, we pre present her in your hand today and we ask you, Lord, that you would cover her. Lord, we ask that you would strengthen her. And we ask that, oh, mighty Savior, in our going out and in our coming in, God Almighty, you would protect her. Send your angels, your guiding angels, to protect her as she go out from day to day. God, keep her heart and her mind stayed on you as we tell you thanks today in Jesus' name. Praise Amen. God. Praise God. God. Praise, Praise him. Him. Praise Pastor Brown, you want to just come? Pastor Spence wanted me to pray for your daughter. And so, as fellow God's servant in the vineyard, I'll say this to you, woman of God. In Job, the 22nd chapter, verse number 28, he says, When we decree a thing, it shall be established, and light shall shine upon a pathway. What I'll say to you as you stand in practice with your daughter. No weapon that is formed against her shall prosper. And everything that comes up against her, God says, I will condemn it. Bible also tells us that the highs of the Lord goes to and fro all over the earth, looking for someone to show himself strong on behalf of the person who has a heart towards him. Your daughter is well taken care of. Go in peace. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Glory. Praise God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Alanis, Father, you promise in your word that you will supply all our need according to your riches in glory. Father, meet every need in this person's life, Sister Brenda, daughter, Alanis. And they're going out and they're coming in, Father, I pray for their protection. I pray, oh God, that the peace of God that passes all understanding will be applicable in their daily lives. Father, show yourself strong in this season in our life. I ask for uncommon blessing. I ask for uncommon favor. I pray that you'll bind this family with cord that cannot be broken by men. Let the word of God come life in their life. Father, I pray for blessings. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, just as he said, you are our refuge and our strength. You are indeed our very present help in time of trouble. Father, I should pray that you just show yourself strong. You are a mighty warrior. You are a mighty conqueror. You are him that keeps your word. And Father, I pray that you'll keep your word in our life. I pray your blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise his holy name. Praise, Praise the Lord.
Praise God. Let us give the Lord a big, a big, a big, 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 big praise the Lord. Praise his wonderful name. Let us go higher. Let us go higher. Let us give him the highest praise. Hallelujah. 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 Praise his wonderful name. Praise God. The Lord has done great things for us in which we are glad. Praise God. Praise God. At this time, I would like to just collect an offering for the speaker. Praise God. Bless his holy name. Praise God. Praise him. I believe God. I believe God. That's what you will and it shall be done. I believe God, I believe God, that's what you will and it shall be done. After your day, for there is no power away. I believe, I believe God. I believe God, oh yes, I believe God, that's what you will and it shall be done. After your day, for there is no power away. I Praise God. Greet one another. Praise God. 